Hey guys, this is Nikhil. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, Wonderland Time, a few updates that uh, Danny has uh, published and also some of the uh, proposals that are uh, in, in the making. Uh, one of them being uh, a really interesting and an amazing proposal uh, that the Wonderland team has put forward. Uh, before I start, uh, you know, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Uh, I don't have Discord, Telegram or any of those channels and I will never DM you. Okay. So before we start talking about Wonderland, I just wanted to talk about Bitcoin. I mean, as you all know, we are in Bitcoin is looking really bad and there is a lot of panic in the market. Right. And in fact, I had the uh, made a video uh, about a few days ago where I had called out uh, Bitcoin would come and touch this 42k and you can go and watch this uh, watch this video where I've said uh, Bitcoin will come and touch uh, 42k this was released on 16th of December and my humble opinion I think it will come probably touch this 40k and bounce back uh, I think I think we are not in a, I wouldn't say we are in a completely, you know, long term bear market. Yes, there is a, a lot of uh, bearishness in the market. And I feel that we might be uh, moving sideways between 40, 40 to 50K for the next uh, seven to eight weeks. Right? I see this entire market recovering maybe March or April um, this year. Right? So that's my uh, prediction. Um, I may be wrong. Nobody knows what the market's going to do. But yeah, this is this is uh, a brief on on Bitcoin. The reason I'm bringing this up is, um, as you know, if Bitcoin drops, every other altcoin takes takes a dump. And uh, you know, I'm not here to shill a Wonderland time. Uh, though I love the project, uh, you do what is right for you. This this video is only to give you updates on what's happening on Wonderland. Right. There's one interesting thing that I've noticed and I would uh, suggest all of you uh, to notice this as well. Uh, before Bitcoin dumps, I mean, I saw this yesterday, Bitcoin was at around 47, 46K and Wonderland time took a dump. Uh, it went down to 2,500, I think it went down. Yeah, it went down to 25, 2,500. Yep. And this has not happened. And then, of course, Bitcoin came down to 42K. This has not happened uh, once, okay? And if you notice this, this is happening quite regularly. So first Wonderland dumps, uh, time dumps, and then Bitcoin follows. And now uh, Wonderland time is pumping. It's it's uh, it's gone up by 16, I wouldn't say pumping, but yeah, it's gone up by 16%. Uh, we will have to wait and see if Bitcoin follows it or not. I, I know it's very strange. I've, I've noticed this pattern for the last, uh, a uh, few days. Uh, not sure if this pattern will continue, but it's it's worth keeping an eye on. All right. The first update is um, around Danny's very smart move. Uh, I would I would call it cheeky. I'll tell you why later. Um, as you know, time has been dumping a lot, right? The time token has been dumping a lot, and it is meant to be dumping. Okay, the price will always go down. The reason being. Time is an inflationary token, right? So you've got to remember this very clearly. If somebody is giving you a staking rewards of 15,000, 30,000, 50,000 percent APY, then he is minting. So the point I'm trying to make is um, all these DAOs over time are inflationary, okay? So the, the higher the uh, um, supply circulating supply the price obviously trends uh, lower right because it dilutes the entire uh, project what you would always look for is the market cap that is the key thing in, in any of the DAOs in fact I had made a video on uh, Climber DAO a few weeks ago on saying why Climber DAO is pump dumping Climber DAO is one of the official Olympus DAO uh, forks and I had, you know, in their roadmap, they very clearly called out saying, you know, APYs would be 50K to 20K when the supply is 1 to 1 million. And then it keeps on reducing, API, APY reduces, supply keeps increasing. And, you know, at, one, at, at the maturity level, when APY is about uh, 30 to 5% APY, the supply would be anywhere between 1 billion to 100 billion tokens. Right. Similarly, time, I have not seen a similar roadmap on time, uh, but 
to sum it up you 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 know this was nothing new this was you know this was this had to happen but the dump the level of dump happened was mainly because of the market conditions right so if if bitcoin was above 52k then uh, it might have been a little slow but eventually it would have dumped right so why is this announcement from danny important so what he's trying to do is he's taking your mind away from the time price okay he's taking your uh, focus away from the time price and he's bringing that to the market cap right so he wants you to only focus on market cap and not on the time so how can you get your mind to look at market cap by taking your mind away from the time price and bringing it and asking you to look at wrapped memo or w memo right and what is wrapped memo look i have made a detailed video on uh, on this i will link leave a link below uh, it's uh, wonderland time basics uh, essentially what what he's doing is wrapped memo is always going to go up it is nothing but once you uh, you know once you stake time your it becomes memo and when you wrap it it becomes w memo right and one w memo currently is 39 memo which is 39.3 sorry 0.68 time tokens over time this will keep increasing right so what will happen psychologically you will see that my wrap memo is increasing in dollar value um, and not really worry about the price okay it's a bit cheeky move uh, but i think i got to give it to him uh, he's doing it for the community he's, he's you know he's there's been a lot of selling pressure um so he wants to avoid that selling pressure and probably uh, take your mind away from uh, from from uh, memo from time to w memo he's co he is calling this as wonderful memory so if you see his uh, post um, he's saying all that remains of time we spent together is wonderful memory right and it's, if you read his announcement about to make changes in wonderland to keep the expectations of dom members and all incredible community that has created around this project right we decided to take action and shift the focus from time to w memo what is the benefit is uh, you know um, market cap is adjusted this should make it more clear to everyone that we're investing into w memo and not time right so as i said he's just trying to take your mind away from from the time price because it is inflationary all right so i think this particular one a lot of youtubers would have already covered um, i'm going to leave a link below for your uh, basics on what is uh, w memo um, this is the video that i had made uh, you can take a look at it um, and probably once uh, once you go through that video you'll be able to understand this much better all right so the second announcement that he made that is pushing the price up today is uh, this particular thing he um, he had called this out a few few weeks back that he will he's looking at uh, uh, providing seed fund for a betting platform i had covered that as well uh, in in one of my videos so he has uh, provided uh, seed funding for uh, betswap.gg okay it's a sports crypto betting platform um, and you know the total dao allocation currently is about 2 billion tokens right approximately 18 million dollars right so usually this entire process of uh, you know allocations are done by uh, vcs um, venture capitalists and they they take the you know they take all of these and then they dump it on the retailers in the end uh, dao doing it is really good uh, it's setting a precedence for other daos to follow this and probably slowly we will not see those venture capitalists uh, running this market right so if you have always noticed uh, uh, any particular uh, cryptocurrency project that has that is new that comes in and it pumps like uh, say 10 dollars and dumps to uh, say 50 cents in a span of 2 3 days that's because of all these venture capitalists they have bought those tokens for say less than 1 cent uh, and they will pump the market and once it goes to the peak they will dump all of their tokens onto you and walk away right and uh, by DAOs getting involved in this is is quite good uh, in a way that uh, it, it depends on the project as well so you got to involve, get involved in the right project if you are involving in a project that's not going to do well then obviously you are putting the entire treasury at risk 
right so this entire entire token would be in treasury and whatever benefits or profits it makes will uh, will be distributed to the stakers which is you and me right so this is this is the second news that uh, kind of um, was bullish next update uh, this may not be directly related to um, wonderland time but at some point this will connect to wonderland time and i'm sure about it uh, daniel and andre cronia andre cronia is another uh, top uh, crypto uh, entrepreneur he started the DeFi revolution this is Yuan finance this was one of his first projects and this kind of started the entire DeFi in my view and it's still considered as one of the top projects in DeFi. Uh, him along with uh, Danny uh, two uh, <laughs> crazy you know mad men when it comes to innovation getting together on phantom is is definitely a bullish sign and I'm sure he will bring something to the ecosystem right the next update of course was um, Danny uh, tweeting that he's getting his uh, hands dirty when it comes to NFTs. Uh, he bought uh, MAYC and uh, and I think Doodles um, and he is looking at uh, NFTs as a platform and I'm again very sure that he's going to link that to time at some point. Right. So these were some of the ones which you would have already heard of. The next one which I'm going to talk about is a bit, little bit deeper. It's a pretty cool idea. Uh, it is still under uh, proposal stage and looks like there'll be a, this might get approved. So the idea here is uh, they're looking at uh, bringing in the entire uh, liquid staking uh, to uh, for Avalanche on, onto uh, Wonderland, right? So what is li liquid staking? Um, so if you are familiar with uh, protocols like Lido or Lido, uh, then you would know what I'm trying to say. But if for people who don't know this, um, I will give you an example. So here, if you see, uh, Lido is a platform that was built uh, to stake. Uh, initially, it was built to stake your uh, Ethereum. So when Ethereum 2.0 came into picture, anyone who stakes in Ethereum 2.0 were locking up their Ethereum for a period of, I don't know, one year or two years. Right. And uh, people were OK with it initially, but they obviously as an investor, you want that Ethereum, uh, whatever you have staked, uh, you want that back whenever you want. Right. And you don't want to have a lock in period. Right. Similarly, in Av Avalanche currently, you have a lock in period of two years if you want to be a validator. Uh, when you say validator, uh, somebody who is actively participating in a blockchain. Right. So. Here, uh, what, what Lido did was, Lido did was, uh, they uh, took your Ethereum uh, tokens, they staked it on Ethereum 2.0 um, and they gave you staked Ethereum as liquidity. They gave you almost 1 is to 1, I don't think it is exactly 1 is to 1, slightly lesser than uh, uh, your uh, staked Ethereum. Um, so they gave you a token called stake ethereum say stake any amount of eth and earn daily staking rewards put your staked eth to work across DeFi to compound your yield so when you stake your ethereum you'll get 4.7 percent apr apr and you'll also get staked eth when you get the staked eth token you can take this and stake it somewhere else and earn more okay and that's what they did for terra as well and i've kind of covered this in some of my other videos and solana as well Right, so they, they came up with this amazing strategy where you stake, you'll get a liquid token of your staked um, token, right? So why is this particular protocol important for what the proposal is? So currently Avalanche, uh, Avalanche ecosystem does not have this proposal. I mean, does not have a staked um, Avalanche mechanism, right? So that's where the that's where uh, Wonderland DAO or uh, one, uh, or uh, Danny's team is looking at, right? So current addressable market, I mean, this was obviously end of December. They're looking at about, uh, I think, $2.5 billion per year and a revenue stream that can bring uh, to this entire uh, Wonderland treasury is about $12.5 million a year, right? So what they would do in this is uh, they will ask everyone to come and stake AVAX token with them and then immediately give them uh, a staked AVAX, ST AVAX or whatever, right? 90% um, of it will go to uh, the people who have staked, 10% will go to the treasury to maintain it, right? So this is another 
cool idea. Uh, look at the addressable market here, right? They're talking about 12.5%, uh, 12.5 million on AVAX. And the way he's, uh, Danny has been talking to Phantom, I would not be surprised once this is successful, they will start putting this on Phantom and other protocols as well. So Lido or Lido currently has a market cap of uh, $71 billion, right? So if this is a success, then your Wonderland uh, um, treasury will, will go crazy, right? Again, uh, look, I'm not trying to shill Wonderland uh, time token to you guys. It's just bringing some of the cool ideas that uh, Danny and his team are working on. Um, personally, I'm, I'm quite uh, happy with, with the progress. Yes, the markets are tumbling. Um, Bitcoin is going down. I feel that this bearish cycle might be for another seven to eight weeks and we may see a pump back. Uh, and we will definitely see an all-time high this year. Um, it will surpass 69K. Uh, this is my uh, gut feeling. Um, again, nobody can predict the market. Anything can happen. But personally, I look for projects which are always trying to innovate. Uh, and I invest in projects which always innovate. I don't like projects which bring a lot of hype and then disappear in this case yes danny brought a lot of hype to this uh, wonderland time uh, but he has not disappeared we are in a we are kind of in a short term bear market but he is innovating even in this uh, stage of the cycle right so yep so that's all i had uh, i think on last point you know if you are confused about w memo um you can go here convert your memo into w memo if you don't i don't think anything is going to happen um, you can just leave it as is um, if you do then uh, it might help you with your tax uh, benefits as well so you can watch the video i've linked it's got all the basics uh, in it all right so that's all i had for today hope you guys like this video uh, please smash that like button and please 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 subscribe uh, i think 95 to 97 percent of you don't subscribe to my channel after watching these videos and i am trying to bring the best content as possible not trying to shill any tokens that's not my style i'm just trying to bring the data uh, and information to you guys and for you to make the right and informed decisions all right so until next time have a great day guys